I'll explain the measuring procedure of crankshaft deflection when overhauling the main bearing or when running the engine every 2,000 to 2,500 hours. If the crankshaft deflection is expanded, the crankshaft may be broken and may result in an accident. Consequently, periodically measure the crankshaft deflection. Make sure to measure it when cooling engine. Measure the deflection by the exclusive tool. Open the pressure indicator cocks of all the cylinders. Turn the flywheel to bring the crank pin to the position EB of 30 degrees after the bottom dead center. EB is the exhaust bottom and the position of measuring reference. In this condition, fit the deflection gauge to the set needle of the dial gauge to point zero. Slowly turn the flywheel. Measure and record readings of the dial gauge in order of exhaust side, top, pump side, and pump side bottom. If necessary, read the needle of dial gauge by the deflection mirror. Measure in all cylinders and the work is finished. The relation between the deflection value at each measured position with reference taken at the first point and the crankshaft is as shown. Allowable value of the deflection is as shown. Deflection increases every measurement and it exceeds allowable value. You need to check the main bearing metal and correct the deflection.